Welcome to FPV Insights, the ultimate hub for all things first-person views. I'm your host, Lucy. I'm your host, Jenny. Get ready to embark on an exciting journey through the lens of FPV, capturing the world from a whole new perspective. Let's start our exciting FPV drone news segment. News 1. Drone racing has been officially recognized as an Australian Defence Force Sports Association. Drone racing has become a popular sport in recent years attracting enthusiasts from all over the world. The thrust of flying a drone at high speed through a challenging course has captivated the imaginations of many. Yes, recently drone racing has been endorsed by the ADF, Australian Defence Force SWAT sail at the 31st spot to be officially recognized as an ADF sports association and over 5 and 6 years respectively. The Australian Air Force Drone Racing Team and the Australian Army Drone Racing Team have steadily grown in members, profile and expertise. At first, the ADF Drone Racing Team was small, and after 7 years of development, the team has grown to about 16 racers and in high demand to attend aviation and science engagements throughout the country. ADF Drone Racing Team President Wing Commander Karen Joyce said the rapid increase in popularity has been impressive. It has been an amazing journey that has seen a small group of talented and enthusiastic drone pilots bring this emerging sport into the mainstream to become one of the most highly engaged sports teams in defense, he said. In 2023, the team has facilitated the Australian Army Cadet Drone Elective Camp at Inaugural the Girls in Defense program at RMIT Victoria, the drone tournament at the Avalon International Air Show, support to the Adelaide Fringe Festival, and STEM workshops throughout regional Queensland. Captain of the ADRT batter Alex Brown said, Drone racing was not just an engagement tool, but also an exciting, challenging, and competitive sport. He said, it's inclusion as a level four sports association, Further recognized it as a sport that fosters skills and knowledge in robotics, critical thinking, teamwork, and tenacity. The team will now set its sights on the Australian Drone Racing National, where six pilots have qualified it to represent Army in Tom Swells in August. News 2 DJI L3 launched with various new features and improvements. DJI has now launched the L3. The follow-up to the L2 and L2S. As expected, DJI has added a new camera for its third-generation models, among other changes. Specifically, the L3 features two 1 and 1 3rd inch CMOS sensors, one for its primary camera and the other for a 3x telephone camera. In terms of f-stop, the primary camera has an 1.7 aperture, with a 24mm equivalent focal length. In comparison, the telephone camera utilizes an 2.8 aperture with a 70mm equivalent focal length. According to DJI, the L3 can capture 4K videos at up to 100 frames per second, with portrait video restricted to 2.7K. Additionally, the new drone offers various options for automatically following subjects through Active Track 5.0, Point of Interest 3.0, Quick Shots and Spotlight 2.0. Moreover, DJI has included four for 1080p 60 frames per second video transmission at up to 20 km. Also, DJI has integrated waypoint functionality a first for the L series. In short, the functionality allows you to plan a route the drone will automatically fly to provide smoother tracking shots. The L3 is officially rated for up to 46 minutes of flight between battery swap 2. The new 720 gram drone is already orderable in multiple markets and will start shipping next week. The DJI L3 is priced as follows. DJI L3 with RCN2 controller costs 1099 
DJI Air 3 with Fly More Combo with RCN2 controller costs $1,349. DJI Air 3 with Fly More Combo with RC2 controller costs $1,000. 524. That was up today's Rolling FPV news. I'm your host Lucy. I'm your host Jenny. Stay tuned FPV Insights as we bring you more updates from the accelerating world of high-speed aero competition. For more detailed information, please check out the official maps forum.